today guys we're looking at the engulfing candlesticks today um you know this is one of the for, for me this is one of the the best of all the candlesticks out there you know we've got pin bars and you know we've got all the dojis and so on but for me the engulfing is king because you know the bulls and the bears keep fighting but anyway before we get into the engulfing let's look at um the parts of of the chart and in terms of the candle itself now you know when we've got a red body that's the high of the red body right that's the open right that's the close and that's the low of the day and this is a down candle and the fact that it's red it's because when it opens it open higher than the close reason for the red body or the, and we call this a down candle it's a down for the day yet again this is what we've got now this is a you know an up candle a candle that has increased look the the open is lower than the close that's a high of the day right that's where it closes and this is the body of the candle okay and you know from here you can see the open the the close yeah the open the close the high of the day the low of the day and and so on and so forth and just have a look at the different and you'll see in terms of this movement going down okay guys let's look now what are the engulfing candlesticks now we've got what we call the bearish engulfing candle now the bearish engulfing candle is when this body right engulfs this body it's almost like within our bodies we've got red and white blood cells now the white blood cells they engulf any you know sort of you know infection that want to overtake our body and then engulf and kills it so it's almost like that's what this is doing this red body engulfs this one so who is in charge the bears at this point they're better you know they're a bigger fighter than the bulls the bulls the bulls is for the, the you know the bull they go you know if you think about a bull he's fighting he's fierce he goes down and then up into the air whereas the bear now the bear goes up and then down they they use their claw and they want to you know rip they don't want to like hit you in the head with their claws and and that's the bear now these this one here that one there they are more powerful when they engulf both the high and the low of the day so this one this is a really nice engulfing this is a really because it engulf both the high and the low of the day so then these are the bearish engulfing this is also bearish even though it didn't engulf the entire candle itself but in the engulfs the body so the body of the candle is the bare minimum the body of the candle is the bare minimum yeah so look this engulfs this body this engulf that body now we've got the bullish engulfing candles okay look this body engulfs that body this body engulfs body but also the low and the high of the day so this probably would have more strength this would probably have more strength okay you know the the bullish engulfing candle bullish engulfing candle bullish engulfing candle not necessarily that it has to enclose all of it but as i said you have better signals when it engulfs the entire candle itself okay now so that is this is what we call the the, the engulfing candle and the bearish and the bullish engulfing candle now why do engulfing candle patterns form you know, why do they form there's just a shift in sentiments between the bulls and the bears is it the bulls who have won or the bears who have won you know but then you know we can always put a trade on at the low here below the, the the lower the day and see where the market goes or we could put a, an entry point there and see where the market will go okay now is you know is is it going to be the bulls it was one the day or the bears okay during this point sometimes during this point when we have got um you know if we go back to this point here you know y you have a situation where this could have been the high price break below pull back up to all you know we call supply zone and then this thing breaks all the way down okay because see this could have been in a downtrend now um how could we trade these patterns and they could be traded on their own or at unique levels okay so if we say for example let's look at a chart 
Now, if you notice, this bearish, right, engulfing candle, engulf the high and the low, right? Look at what happens, okay? If you look at this one here, engulfs both the low and the high, engulfs it, and look what happens, right? The next time we got, and actually we could take this trade, and if we look at this, right, we move, we say our entry would be above this point, so we're looking at till we get the next, well, slightly, yeah, we're looking at nearly 386 um, pip going that way. Okay, guys, so this is what we call, um, this is the bearish engulfing, bullish engulfing, bullish engulfing, bearish engulfing, bearish engulfing, bearish engulfing, bullish engulfing, bullish engulfing. Bearish engulfing. Now, also, what we could do, guys, we, we we could also, if we want to say, for example, you thought, well, you know what, um, I, you know, I'm not very, that confident. I want something to be consistent with the bearish and, and so on. You could always put on on the chart a a um you know a bullish you know engulfing indicator that would help you to to make it you know to make your thing be, be, be more consistent so what we could do is we could put on the chart right and then this then would do them for you okay look 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 yeah look at that look at that it's done it for you so if you don't want to be the one to be choosing your bearish and, and bullish and golfing you've got indicators that can make it it for you so you literally what you could be doing you could be taking these trades yeah yeah when you get you put the low below here and look what happens it you know you'll be you know i probably wouldn't i would probably want to look to to break above here okay you know if we if we make this a bit lower can we see this is also an engulf in here look what happens this this is an engulf in here look what happens you know, we could literally take every single one of these trades and you'll say, it, you know, um, the market actually, it actually works. Look at that. Look at this nice, you know, you get another one there. I just continues. And then what you do, you could leave, you could get out the trade at this point when you get the reversal candle. So guys, it's a really nice thing. And as I said, you can always use um, the bullish, you know, if you're not that confident and, you know, you want to be mechanical in the way you go about selecting these trades then that's one way of doing it. Well, I hope you have learned a lot from watching this video and bullish and engulfing candlestick. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Uh, look forward, I hope you click like on this video and let me know and I'll be sending lots more videos out. God bless.